My name is Ian Mark. When I was in high school, I was the photographer for Music Express magazine. In fact, this is a copy of the first issue that came out in 1976. I'm also the author of Adventures of a 70s Rock Photographer. In this video today, we are going to celebrate two things. One, the Southern Alberta Jubilee Auditorium uh, in Calgary, and two, uh, Queen, who performed at this venue in 1977. Let's say the Queen Elizabeth was in town and she was in the mood to rock on, should that ever happen. The Jubilee Auditorium is the place that you would take her to. So let's go and check it out. Here we see an aerial shot of the Southern Alberta Jubilee Auditorium, otherwise known in Calgary as uh, the Jubilee or just the Jube. You can see downtown Calgary in the distance. Uh, it was built in 1955. It seats about uh, 2,538 people. And uh, here's from the front and those doors to the right where the paying, paying public uh, go in to see uh, rock concerts or um, Broadway shows or whoever it might be that's performing. Here we can see the lobby to the Jubilee on one occasion when I was photographing sticks. Uh, they weren't opening the door so the uh, people who bought the tickets couldn't get inside to the, the theater to their seats and uh, they were starting to get upset wondering why uh, they weren't allowed to sit down when an announcement was made that uh, sticks uh, wasn't going to show because their trucks are broken down uh, which isn't a very good situation to be in for a rock concert with rowdy rock fans. Luckily at the time uh, Montrose, the opening act, agreed to do a mini concert which sort of averted a, uh, uh, a riot uh, in the Jubilee that, that on that day. This is the entrance to the backstage of the Jubilee where Queen would have come in to begin their two-day concerts March 16th and 17th, 1977. Let's just take a look at the uh, seating layout as uh, it looks from the stage. Um, as you can see, it's uh, three levels. In 1977, when Queen uh, played here, it was before the building was renovated in 2005. And so the layout was a little bit different, but uh, uh, basically, uh, basically the same buildings you can see. We're not talking a huge arena with uh, 20,000 screaming fans. A very intimate setting for Queen. So after uh, Thin Lizzy finished their set, uh, Freddie Mercury would have left the green room, uh, opening the store to the uh, stage. And I'm sure in the background, uh, he would hear the screaming, adoring fans waiting to receive Queen. The first song of the night was Tie, Tie Your Mother Down. His piano was situated on the far right there. And uh, that's where this uh, photograph was taken a few minutes later when uh, he started to go into uh, You Take My Breath Away. So let's take a closer look now at some of the photographs that I took uh, the first night. Um, this was uh, March the 16th. Uh, I should mention that um, uh, after the first night, um, Keith Sharp, uh, my boss from Music Express, came up to me and said that he wanted me to stay up all night uh, to develop the roles of film um, so that uh, he would have, uh, I could give him some shots, 8x10 uh, prints to show Queen uh, before the second concert on the 7th on the 17th because he wanted to uh, use these photographs hopefully as a tool to get in to meet the band so around one or two o'clock the all the roles were developed then i started to make test prints from those i selected uh, some of the eight by tens that you see here uh, i was probably finished around three or four o'clock um, so i had a number of prints to uh, give to keith he took these to the Jubilee, showed them to uh, Queen's manager, and as a result of the photographs, he was invited into backstage to meet Queen. Unfortunately, I was not included in that invitation, but that's the way it works. You're just the photographer, no one important. So let's take a look now at the photographs that uh, Keith Sharp published in Music Express. So when it came time to um, uh, print uh, the next issue of Music Express after I photographed Queen, 
Keith Sharp came up to me and said, Ian, there were so many good shots of Queen, I just didn't know what to, uh, which to use, which not to use. So uh, he told me, I decided to give you a three page spread. This is the only time I was ever given a three page spread in all the time that I photographed for Music Express. So during the night of the first concert, I was attacked between the front row that you see here on the stage by some goon. And so as a result, when the concert was over, Brimstone Productions said, Ian, we're going to let you through the backstage for your own security after what happened. So we, uh, they took me through these doors here. Uh, we opened the door to the backstage area and I looked to the door to the left. There were bouncers outside all these doors here, but outside this green door here at the top was a sign that said uh, Freddie Mercury, because this was his changing room. You can see it right now, it's under renovation, but this is the room that he used before the concert. And then continuing down the hall were the changing rooms for um, Brian, Roger, and uh, Deacon, with uh, bouncers outside all the doors here. So I never went in, I never saw them. So let's take a look at some of the other artists that I photographed in Jubilee. Here is Styx, Canadian band April Wine from the side stage. And after Blood, Sweat and Tears broke up, uh, David Clayton Thomas performed the Jubilee. Here's the Hollies. And upcoming two photographs of Olivia Newton-John uh, when she was being awarded uh, with uh, some gold records for Canadian sales. These were actually <clears throat> taken in a hotel after the concert. Here is Lou Rawls, the only uh, uh, black performer I think I ever photographed. Here's uh, Nana Muscari. Paul Williams. And uh, last but not least, Three Dog Night. So a few years ago, on a personal note, uh, my two sons bought me tickets to go see Alice Cooper, who was performing in the Jubilee. Uh, when the concert was over, my son Benjamin was able to convince one of Alice Cooper's assistants to uh, uh, get him to autograph a photograph that I took of Alice Cooper in 1975 when he was performing in Edmonton just after he recorded uh, Welcome to My Nightmare record and here I am posing with that autograph photograph with one of Alice Cooper's guitars in the lobby of the Jubilee. What a great birthday gift from my sons. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it. It brought back lots of memories to me. I must also thank the staff of the Jubilee for letting me go backstage uh, and photographing all the airs that I wanted to. Without them, this video just couldn't have been the kind of quality that it is. Um, so I thought we would end this video by checking out some photographs of Queen that I took on the second night. These are all color shots. I'd also like to uh, thank my wife for uh, playing God Save the Queen that you hear in the background. Thank you very much.